Safety tip number 15 is uh, the use of blunt-tipped infiltration cannulas rather than sharp infiltration needles. Number 15, to present, uh, <coughs> safety tip number 15 deals with blunt-tipped infiltration cannulas. So, <coughs> uh, we have uh, designed tumescent lidocaine anesthesia cannulas that are specifically designed for tumescent infiltration. <coughs> We've called these Monty cannulas and these have holes. For example, this is a hole a cannula with holes that come down to this far on, the, on this blunt tipped cannula. This one has holes that come down about halfway and this, these come down all the way down to here. Um, and these are used in a very specific fashion. This is a tip Monty, a half Monty, and a, the full Monty. Uh, we will, a typical pattern for infiltration <coughs> is to, we use a little bit of a, do a little bit of infiltration using a spinal needle. This is a 20 gauge spinal needle. So we will initiate the tumescent infiltration with a 20 gauge spinal needle just a little bit in the skin, under the skin I should say, in the superficial fat and, and mid-level fat. Just enough to subsequently allow these blunt tip cannulas to be placed with, with minimal discomfort. We don't use very much volume with this, but just enough to make the rest of the infiltration comfortable. Now, the, the full Monty, or the one with the holes all the way down, is placed through the skin, through an incision that we've made, and positioned under the fat and left in place while the tumescent infiltration pump, the peristaltic pump, pumps the fluid through here. It comes out in all of these little uh, holes, apertures, and infiltrates uniformly along that pathway. Uh, if we had just infiltrated out of the tip of this, there'd be a rapid distension of, of the fluid under the skin, and that would be uncomfortable. This spreads that infiltration, that volume, over a larger distance and reduces some of that discomfort from this rapid distension of the tissues. Uh, <clears throat> and we can then move this from area to area very carefully and in that way minimize any discomfort. And essentially it's painless tumescent infiltration technique that we've developed. The fact that it's a blood tip uh, will minimize the risk of lacerating any uh, v blood vessels or nerves in the fat and also avoid puncturing deeper tissue planes, avoiding uh, reducing the risk of pneumothorax, reducing the risk of uh, peritoneal puncture. So uh, blunt tip infiltration cannulas are important in, in terms of safety. This concludes this video presentation. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. If you should like some more academic information about tumescent lidocaine anesthesia, go to tumescent.org. If you'd like information about the surgical devices and tumescent infiltration equipment, go to hksurgical.com. Thanks.